Welcome to Weekend Project with StoneZ56. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to use NTP client. If you look at the web page here on the Arduino.cc website, it says an NTP client is to connect to a time server to get time from an NTP server and keep it in sync. This way, you will know you don't need to worry about your system clock because it will be always synced with the server, with the time server. To download this library, let's open the Arduino IDE, go to Tools, and Manage Library. The very top here, just type NTP client and you will be able to install it. Just close it. Okay. The next is go to navigate to GitHub Arduino library NTP client. Here is a sample code that you can use. Let's just copy the entire thing. Test. Pass to this empty space. Okay. I'm gonna assume you already set up your uh, ESP2866 with correct port number and the right ball rate speed. After that, you just click upload. It's done. Now just click on the reset on the, the node MCU I have. Let's open the serial monitor to check out the result. Mm -hmm. What's going on? It's just showing the dots. It means it's not connecting to the Wi-Fi. It's looking for the Wi-Fi. Ah, this is why. We didn't set up the SSID and password. Remember I showed you how to use the Wi-Fi manager. Now let's combine this NTP client example with Auto Connect IP from Wi-Fi manager. Okay, here's Auto Connect IP that uh, I opened from the library. Now let's combine these two. First, here says you need to include NTP client. Okay, let's just copy that. And then the Wi-Fi we just skip the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi UDP because this is for Wi-Fi to work. We don't need to worry about that. We don't need to set up SSID and password. Skip that. Okay. Now here is the Wi-Fi. UDP okay so let's just copy this one okay. and then in the setup we need to set up the serial pole speed should you will see it's in auto con auto connect AP already so we don't need to do that Wi-Fi mode we don't need to do that time climb begin Okay, time climb begin. So this is inside the setup. This is copy inside the setup. Okay, let's, let's copy the time cell bit right here. Okay, inside a loop. This is what I need to do. Inside a loop here. Let's also copy the delay 1000. Okay. That's all. Now let's save this file into another project. Okay. Now let's compile. Okay, the writing is about to complete.
see the clock is already showing. Let's do it again. You see the Wi-Fi manager is connecting your previously saved uh, AP with password. And then at uh, getting the IP address from here, it shows connected. And then the time just keep continue showing up. This is how easy it is to use NTP client library. But if you noticed, the time is not actually synced with my local computer. This is zero, uh, seven o'clock in the morning, but actually my time zone is in three o'clock in the afternoon. So we need to change that. Okay, and if you look through the code, you will see actually tells you that uh, you need you can change right here you can specify the time server pool and the offset in seconds and then specify the update interval okay right and this is NTP server that you want to connect so now we are connecting to the Europe that pool that NTP dot org this, this time server uh, now I want to change it to the Taiwan time room because I'm located in Taiwan so let me locate this oh it'll be here okay so what do we need to do is to change this line of code NTP client time client NTP UDP and this will be time server I will also use the just need to find out the time server locate uh, in Taiwan let's uh, look on the internet okay. the, the Thai, Taiwan okay here NTP server in Taiwan oh this is the right click this will be all the server that you can use so let's just copy the first one okay and then let's put this back into your code remember to uh, uncommon this original command okay now we pointed our clients time client server to Taiwan located in Taiwan and then uh, this is an offset so how many hours that you part from the standard time here in Taiwan we are is in plus eight hours so let's do this times eight this 3600 seconds times eight it will be eight okay so this is how when you update the synchronization with the time server which is 60 seconds now let's do the compile again Oh, by the way, let me show you the time here. Now it's sweet, 56 p.m. Let's do a compile again. Okay, it's done. Let's, uh, let's reset and go to the serial monitor to look at the time. I hope it's right. Okay. Now the time is synced with my local machine. Uh, this example just show you how easy it is to use internet resources. But uh, I finding it is quite easy to, to learn this way. Just uh, looking at the different resources and try and error like I did today many times. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and uh, have a nice weekend. Oh, wait in the next tutorial I'll show you how to combine the Wi-Fi manager with NTP client plus an LCD display it has uh, four rows and 20 characters it's quite interesting let's just show up the time on the LCD instead of showing on the computer only if you like this video tutorial please share like and subscribe I will see you next time.